Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface with my episode 6 review of Batwoman. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Every night, I can feel... It can't be Monday. It can't. It can't be Monday already. I haven't recovered. I haven't recovered enough, and I haven't been able to watch Titans yet this week. So I haven't even had my antidote for this show. I have to balance this by watching Titans because Titans is good, and this is so bad. But I didn't watch Titans, so I've still got the poison in me from last week, and I've. So anyway, you get a previously on Batwoman, you know, at the start. It's like previous on Batwoman. Kate is a massive weirdo who won't leave Sophie alone. That's what it basically boils down to. Let's just be honest with you. And uh, I'm going to do my own previously on Batwoman. Uh, previously on Batwoman, in the first five episodes of the show, the main villain, Alice has already been captured twice and released twice by Batwoman. So she could just carry on murdering people at her leisure. What a hero. Don't worry, Batwoman commits even more heinous crimes this episode. Uh, so yeah, we get the previously who gives a toss, I don't. Oh, get off my screen. Uh, so we start off with, uh, <laughs> we start off with uh, this guy here who turns out to be a district attorney walking to his car in an empty car park. You see the empty car park. Yes, you do. Pay attention to it. It's going to turn into something very funny very soon. And then this electric pole suddenly crashes down on top of his car. And he's just like, yo, what, bro? No, he doesn't, of course. And it's just like, what? And then this guy. Oh, who's a coming? Oh, who's a coming? It's the Executioner. Another Batman villain. Six episodes in. Three Bat villains already coerced. I tell you what, though. She can have this one. She can have this one. The Executioner is a bit of an obscure one for Batman. You can have it. On me. So he uses his big axe to smash open the fire hydrant. Water comes pouring out. By the way, no effects here on the car at all. Um, no lightning effects whatsoever, because budget. So he's like, oh my god. Electricity plus water equals bad. Can I just move myself to the top corner here? Uh, water goes in the stroke. Fucking line down. Look at all this space. You could just walk. Never mind even run. Just walk the way you came going. Bye, executioner. Have a nice fucking life. But no. Oh, no. I'm going. I've got water after me. I'm going to run to a link fence. And climb up it. Because I am fucking retarded. So he climbs up. Guess what happens, folks? Oh, my God. He gets electrocuted and dizzies. Look, I don't care if this was motherfucking Teresa. They deserve to die. They deserve it for being so stupid. Oh, so that's the beginning of the show. Boo-ba-doo, 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 boo. And then uh, Kate comes into her dad's work and she's like, hey, hey, dad, look, black leather plus red. Does it remind you of anyone? A, 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 A. Ah, oh, Jesus. Um, and then she, no, she turns up to say, hey, you know, last week, dad, and he says, yes, where it was clearly shown that it's Alice's own fault that she's in the predicament that she was because we went looking for her and, and we had the opportunity to save her, but she didn't cry out or anything. She kept quiet. Yes. It's all your fault. It's all your fault because you're a horrible white man. 
Anyway, they then go outside uh, to the terminals where they discover that the district attorney has been kilted it And this... Whoop, I know she's an actress, so I shouldn't get mad at her. But she mentions the Joker as Jack Napier. And I was just like, don't you dare. Don't you dare drag the Joker into this piece of fucking shit. And then... Duray's just like, uh, people go, as why don't you pronounce the, the G? You know, Doug Ray. And it's because, Duray, 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 because you've got to have rhythm in this episode. Uh, so so Duray's just like, uh, why don't we hear about the district attorney being like killed and stuff? And I'm just like, yes, why didn't you? Because according to the first episode, weren't the, the crows brought into Gotham to act as an additional support for the police department. Uh, no, apparently they're just a regular security firm now. Just a regular security firm. And Gotham City Police Department doesn't care about them anymore because they're putting the bat signal into the sky. They want to talk to Batwoman. We don't want to talk to no white man. We want to talk to a, a, a lesbian superhero who... Let's murder us free to kill other people because other people have been killed since Kate released her twice already in five episodes. Because this show makes a lot of sense. And then Kate's just like, oh my god, I've got to go put my pants on. And then Sophie's like, hmm, I know that you're really Batwoman because you keep sexually harassing me. You did it in the first episode where you shoved your finger on my face and if it was a man people would be going crazy and then last episode when you weren't in your batwoman outfit you did it again for no reason for no reason we just came around a corner together and instead of saying hey sophie there's a guy here we probably need to either team up and get them or run away or whichever one is and then she just went mm, i need to touch you because i'm a real creep and then sophie does the best thing in the episode she says hey uh wouldn't you uh, like to put me on a special assignment? Now, bear in mind, she says special assignment. She doesn't say, hey, would you like to forget about me for the rest of the episode? No, no, no. She doesn't do that. And she says, let me find out who Batwoman is. Because she knows that she's Kate. She knows that she's Kate. So she just wants to have absolute confirmation. And then she can grass him up, her up to, uh, to Duray. And he's just like, yeah, do it. And then we get this horrendous scene with uh, Alice and, and Mouse as she puts a, a mask on him. And this guy, oh, fucking hell. I gotta breathe. This guy cannot act for shit. And it's, it's, well, it's not him, actually. I'll take that back. It's not him. It's the person that they turn him into, which is, uh, oh, that's it. That's it. Do the face. Do the face, love. Do the face of every CW writer. Look at him. This, this is what they turn him into. And this guy's just like trying to act like this, you see? Look at my acting, see? My acting's really good, see? Oh, jeez. It was, it was embarrassing. I've got to leave. I've got to, anyway... That's the face of a technician who's going to be used later on to steal the gun. So um, Kate turns up at Wayne Enterprises and she's just like, I don't own any of this, but I've taken it anyway. And uh, Luke says, oh, have you turned up because of the bat signal? And she's just like, yeah. And um, they have a quick conversation where Luke just happens to subtly throw in that Lucius Fox is dead. R.I.P. Lucius. Uh, Lucius Fox was, was killed uh, on his graduation day uh, in an armed robbery. Uh, just, 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 there we go. Just throw Lucius under the bus, why don't you? Lucius is actually probably like, thank God I don't have to appear in this goddamn show. Um, so, ho, 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 Let's get into it in this episode now. This is where things get spicy, folks. You see, this, this is the suspect. This is the suspect who they think is the executioner. 
you notice something about them? They're black! Can you already guess what the bait and switch is in this episode? Yes, you guessed it. The black person, of course, can't do anything wrong because they're black. Because only white people can. And, of course, the executioner is actually turn it, uh, found out to be white later on. And, of course, and if you think, ooh, isn't that a bit of a... A little bit of a jump there, uh, as No, don't worry. Luke Fox talks about racial profiling in Gotham later in the episode. Because only, only white people can commit crimes. Only white people can do horrible things. Because this, this series is racist as hell. Uh, and, don't worry, and also at the end of the episode, Duray Scott admits full culpability in, uh, in Alice being who she is. Uh, because, you know, Alice can't take responsibility for murdering all the people she has. It's do Ray Scott's fault. Oh! So anyway, they get a lead about where they think the executioner is. There's a Gotham City police detective and he's just like, ah, don't worry about it. I'm just going to walk in and get shot to pieces. And he's just like, okie chokey, well, we're here to save you if you want. And he's just like, yeah, whatever. You're just crows, you shit. So, uh, Batwoman, uh... <laughs> She uh, enters the building. Now, get this. Sophie gets the drop on her. Look. Sophie gets the drop on Batwoman. Not vice versa. Not Batwoman getting the drop on Sophie. What are you doing here? Ooh. I was looking for the you, and, and I saw you that you were coming here. I thought you'd turn up here because this is where the execution is. No. The security guard got the drop on the, the, uh, the, right, the untrained Batwoman who can do everything without any problems in the first five episodes. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, and then they, uh, they think they've got the executioner, but it turns out to be a trap and it's just, uh, sound equipment. And then he's really set a trap. So when the front door opens, a bunch of guns go off like a firing squad. And uh, Sophie is hit by one of the bullets and that policeman is kilted. So, with the Crows and the Gotham City Police Department being right outside the door, uh, Batwoman clearly says, quick, we need help. And then she throws down a smoke pellet and flies out of there. No, don't be stupid. She kidnaps Sophie because Sophie says, I know that you're Kate. What? The hero kidnaps Sophie because Sophie knows her identity. Even though she's been shot. Oh my God, the writers just get worse and worse and worse and worse. And then her excuses, because Mary's just like, why did you take her to this clinic and not the hospital? She can pay for the hospital visit. Although she would have insurance with the company, but you know, this, this writing is fucking garbage. So no one cares. And she's just like, yours was nearer. Nearer? You had the fucking police and the, cr if whatever. Screw this. This show is garbage. Garbagely written. And she's like, don't let her go. She knows who I am. Don't let her go. And Mary's just like, sure, whatever. Because, you know, she's just a caricature. The, the character of Mary is still believing that she's in Beverly Hills 90210. Oh my God, like Batwoman, how you doing? Oh my God, I'm just like so, ah. Fucking abysmal. Absolutely abysmal. So this guy, Mouse, turns up to steal the, uh, the Batwoman gun. The gun that can... Uh, pierce the bat suits <laughs> that somehow now in the hands of the other Asian woman and not Wayne Enterprises. I don't, I don't know what is going on anymore. This is so badly written, and she's just like, "Oh, can you tell me how you fix the quad kukuki patuk for Fallon?" And he's just like, "No trade secrets. Can I have the gun, please?" Uh, sure, why not? And then Kate's mad, uh, not because Sophie's been shot. Uh, no, she's mad because Sophie knows who she is. Uh, makes sense. And then, um, anyway, she um, she finds out that the executioner is executing people in the style of executions. Duh. And so the next one is going to be 
gas chamber. So they find out where some cyanide's kept. So she turns up to this warehouse where the cyanide and shit is kept. This is one of the funniest scenes in the fucking world. And then there's a security guard. I cannot believe it, but yes, he's black. There's a security guard that's just like, oh my God, Batwoman, can I take like a selfie of you? And then she like batarangs the uh, phone out of his hand. And he's just like, girl, I get off at 11 o'clock. How about you and me go out for a drink? And we're going to go, oh. And it's just like, I can't, I can't. I'm not into heterosexuality. I'm a lesbian. And he's just like, damn, girl. No, it is literally as bad as that. And then she vanishes. And he's just like, wow, how can that woman not want to have a man? By the way, Luke decides to do some more terrible acting. So we'll leave him be. So she finds the storage of the chemicals. And then the funniest thing in the world happens the executioner smashes through the main door in a truck and <laughs> watch this bang runs over batwoman she's fine she's absolutely fine you see the bat suit absorbed it all That's not how it works. Uh, the bat suit absorbed it all. So all that uh, uh, Ruby needs is some ice on her ribs for a little bit. For 10 minutes or so. She'd be reet. She's only got hit by a fucking two-ton truck. But don't worry about that. Don't worry about logic. Logic is stupid in this show. And so uh, Sophie's just like, Hi, uh, why have you kidnapped me? And by the way, why isn't anybody worried that I'm missing? I mean, even if she was on a special assignment to find out who Batwoman is, you would thought they would have had checking in protocols, considering they are a security firm. But no, nobody cares about Sophie at all. And Mary's just like, I'm terrible at acting as well. And Sophie's just like, yeah, you are. You are absolute hot garbage. So we go to another hilarious scene. Well, we now find out that the executioner isn't a black guy. It's actually a toxic white male. Whew! Thank God for that. Thought we could actually have a little bit of depth of some other characters, but no. Don't worry about that. So she turns up to his house, and he's got some cyanide on the table. And Batwoman's like, Ugh, I can't see any traps or pressure pads or anything like that. What should I do? What's the bat protocol for this? And Luke's just like, well, let me just run some analysis and tests. And then she's just like, too late. Silly man. Men are dumb. Men are slow. I'm just going to pick it up and open it. I'm just going to open the cyanide. What are oh, you, you, you deserve to die. I wish, I wish it was full and it's empty. It's empty because the plot needs it to be empty because if there was cyanide in there, she'd run the risk of killing herself for being a moron. This character is a moron because the writers don't care. They have no clue or understanding of what makes sense, what is logical Fuck them. Garbage. Garbage writers. So anyway, in the cyanide, there was actually a USB drive where he confesses, I'm white. I did everything. The whole problems of the world are my fault. And then they're just like, woo, thank God for that because I'm a black man and you're a lesbian woman. So we, are, we, we do nothing wrong. We're absolute saints and angels. Oh, God in heaven. And uh, so, oh, I don't know. I kind of really zoned out a lot during this episode, I must confess. So, uh, yeah, uh, Duray uh, is just like, hi, uh, have you seen Sophie? Don't be daft. Nobody cares that Sophie's missing at all. And then he says, hey, Sophie's husband, do you know where your wife is? And Sophie's husband's just like, don't be stupid. Nobody cares where Sophie is. Nobody cares where the missing Sophie is who hasn't checked in for likely two or three days now. Because nobody cares about Sophie. Nobody gives a shit. Now, Batwoman goes and saves uh, the black guy who was uh, being uh, arrested for being the executioner. 
obviously. Get your priorities right. Let murderers run free, but save... <laughs> Fuck it, whatever. This show's just fucked. It really is. And then she gives them the USB drive so they can see for themselves that uh, it was actually a horrible white man. Uh, so Alice is playing drafts and she loses and she gets mad. Who cares? Checkers if you're American. And then uh, Mouse pretends to be Kate on the phone. And Alice talks to her and Mouse is just like, you're talking to your sister. How dare you talk to your sister? And she's just like, well, she's a part of me, just like you're part of me. And then he kills the guy with the bat gun, the, the guy whose face he stole. And uh, Alice is just like, I'm going to try and pretend to act scared. But I can't because I've got too much scenery in my mouth from chewing it. Uh, Duray is back at base and he's saying, hey, has anyone seen Sophie? No, he doesn't because nobody cares about Sophie. Nobody cares about Sophie at all. And uh, again, Kate is berating him for uh, Alice. Alice's problems are all your fault. Everything everything wrong with Alice. It's all you, you horrible white man, you disgusting white man. Uh, and then Sophie uh, decides to escape. Uh, so she's escaped. She's uh, absolutely gorgeous. So, <laughs> and um, Mary's just like, oh my God, oh my God. I just went to like a sorority party and stuff and things. And what are you doing out of bed and stuff? Oh my God. So she did that because that's all she fucking does. And Sophie's just like, look, I'm the only person trying. I'm the only actress trying in this show to give it some degree of uh, of, of grounding, of realism. And, and then so, and then Mary's just like, oh my God, good on you. Uh, and so she leaves and um, the executioner goes for his final victim because uh, the executioner's motivation for murders is he discovered that the judge... Uh, the policeman who he killed and the district attorney who he's already killed, they were all in cahoots with each other and they were convicting uh, the wrong people for crimes and letting, are you ready for it, rich white people get away with it. White people, we're the source of every problem in the world. We are just horrible. And that's coming from a white man. And then Kate turns up and she's like, do you like my cosplay? It's £3.50 from Toys R Us. And Toys R Us is out of business. So the judge tries to escape. The executioner turns up, obviously. And uh, she, he's kicking the shit out of Batwoman, which is great. It's great to see. But just before he can stick his axe in her face, um, Duray Scott comes up and shoots him from behind and kills him. And then Duray says, hey, Batwoman... Have you seen Sophie? And she's like, of course I haven't, because nobody cares where Sophie is. And then her, he says, oh, husband, have you seen Sophie? Has she come back home or anything? And he says, no, I don't care about Sophie either. Because nobody cares about Sophie. Nobody gives a shit where she is. And so uh, because the executioner dies, it triggers a dead man's trigger. And the room starts to fill up with cyanide. And then uh, out of nowhere, uh, metal doors bar every exit. Conveniently enough. Oh. And they just stand there breathing in cyanide. Don't worry, they're fine. Uh, but uh, Luke's just like, oh, you've got to wait for the hydrogen to get to 6% of the room. And then you can uh, ignite it, because, uh, of course, hydrogen is fumble, and it will burn off all the cyanide. But in the meantime, keep breathing it in. I'm sure it's fine. Don't worry. I think they both went <coughs> <coughs> at some point. And so she burns off. She burns off the cyanide, but not before something beautiful happens. What beautiful thing happened? Do Gray Scott admitted, admitted that he hates Batman because if he doesn't hate Batman, then everything that happened to Alice is his fault. <laughs> Even though last week's episode showed that it wasn't at all. But fuck this show. Oh... 
And then Luke starts looking through uh, ballistics reports and stuff like that about the death of his father. Now that we know it's not that guy. And uh, she's just like, oh my god! Where is Sophie like left and stuff? And she like knows who you are and things. Uh, and so uh, w Kate then turns up to uh, the crow's office again for some reason. And uh, her dad's just like, hey, Kate, you're right. I'm a horrible white man and I gave up on Alice. And the reason why Alice is a horrible, horrible murderer is me because I'm a horrible white man. And then they hug and then they cry. And then Sophie appears. Sophie just appears and nobody says, hey, Sophie, where have you been? Where have you been for days? Nobody gave a shit about you. Nobody cared. No, none of that. Uh, she's just like, ugh. I'm having an emotional moment. I'm just gonna, I'm out, I'm out. I'm not gonna grass you up this time. And uh, and then we have a terrible scene at the end where, uh, and this is true. What I'm gonna say, this is actually true. Uh, Alice trades mouse uh mr panda or panda face a, ter a small little panda toy which he used to have as a kid for the gun which kills batwoman there you go little panda I i'd move myself but i can't be asked and then she gets the gun oh and they're just out on the street in front of wayne enterprises with loads of people about but it's not as if she's a wanted criminal so uh, this wasn't uh, when I say this wasn't as horrific as other episodes, other episodes have been massively annoying. This was annoying enough, but the writing is garbage. Uh, Ruby Rose's acting is garbage. Uh, Mary is ho horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. Alice is chewing scenery. Uh, Duray Scott is just trying his hardest. And, and Sophie, again, Sophie still remains the only actress who seems to be trying and the only character that seems to have anything interesting about them whatsoever but the writing of this show is just fucking terrible i mean terrible uh i'll give this uh oh, i'll give it a, a that i'll give it a that i think i gave it a three and a half it's awfully written it's a terrible, terrible show. It's not even average. It's it really is this below average. I would I would I would give anything for an average show right now. Anything. Anything just for an average show. A show is just like, yeah, it's alright. But your your main character is is awful. Uh they are not a hero at all. They've done nothing heroic whatsoever. And there's nothing to empathise with them about. Nothing. You don't give two shits about Kate. There's nothing to care about. She's a creep. She's a creepy stalker who has stolen everything that she's got. That's her character. <laughs> don't worry. We're only six episodes in. Uh, so there you go. Batwoman episode six comes to an end. I come to an end. There's another video later today. Don't worry. This isn't only it, thank fuck. And uh, I've got to watch Titans quickly. I've got to. I've got to wash this filth out of my mouth. Uh, so uh, I hope you enjoyed it because I certainly didn't. And I'll be back. Oh God, I don't want to be. One. Wh Bye.